Three years ago in Ottawa, Canada, these men brought forth a plan that was to prove a decisive factor in winning the war. The idea, send young men from all parts of the empire to Canada for Air Force training. And from Britain, from New Zealand, from Australia, from the plains and farms and cities of Canada, young men flocked to join the RCAF. Canada became the empire's reservoir for trained airmen. Taking to the air in all kinds of weather, winter and summer, they shorten training time by months. Today, 150 training centers are strung from coast to coast. More than 2,000 buildings, settlements larger than 100 towns, busy training men. The first to graduate remain to teach others. Starting with 3,500 officers and men, the plan now employs nearly 100,000 instructors in all phases of ground and air operations. Now, month after month, new legions leave for fighting fronts. Pilots, observers, gunners, bombardiers. How many have gone overseas is a military secret. But the Nazis know that Canadian-trained airmen have turned the tide against them.